Hello, I am Dr. Shanavas Khan working as Specialist Intervention Cardiology at Universal Hospital Abu Dhabi. Today my topic is heart attack and management. The management of the heart attack involves early recognition of the symptoms by the patient, early contact with the emergency medical care, early transport to a hospital where the facility for the treatment for heart attack is available and early implementation of the reperfusion therapy is that the patient won't recognize the symptoms. He has to recognize the symptom. That is the most important thing. And only 20% people are not getting enough treatment for heart attack. Most of the death happen within one hour. It is because of, of ventricular fibrillation. So the most important in, in the management is recognition of the symptoms. Not all chest pain is a heart attack. The typical description of chest pain with a heart attack is the feeling of heaviness or squeezing type of pain which lasts more than 20 minutes. It often radiates to the jaw, radiates to the left arm and it may be associated with sweating and diaphoresis and other vomiting etc. Happens due to blockage of arteries and the blockage of arteries occurs due to cholesterol accumulation. Not all heart attack uh, will be having 90% block or 80% block. Even a 40% or a 50% cholesterol uh, block or the cholesterol plaque can cause heart attack. Uh, this 30 to 40 percent block can rupture and there will be uh, accumulation of so many of blood products and cause blood clotting and this causes heart attack. So the quality of life depends on its heart pumping and uh, the therapy of heart attack involves faster reperfusion therapy. You have to remove the block and re-establish the uh, blood flow to the heart so that we can save uh, this heart muscle or the heart myocardium. Heart muscle is known by the name called myocardium. So the basic concept of treatment of heart attack is earlier reperfusion. That means you have to open the uh, coronary artery and re-establish the flow. So we have got some timing, especially there is a term called golden hour where golden hour means Within one hour, if you are able to uh, establish, re-establish the flow, you can, you can avoid further damage to the heart muscle. So the therapy of a heart attack, the, the treatment of heart attack has revolutionized over the past 2-3 decades. Now the treatment with the advent of new technology, the treatment is going, now the primary angioplasty is available or the emergency angioplasty is available. In earlier decade, we used to thrombolyze the patient. Thrombolysis means you will give the drug like called streptokinase for uh, lysing this blood clot and re-establishing the flow. But the studies have found that the uh, this thrombolysis, the effectiveness of thrombolysis is less. So with the advent of primary angioplasty, what is primary angioplasty? Primary angioplasty means emergency angioplasty because on arrival of the patient to the Casualty within 90 minutes, we will uh, open the coronary artery using a balloon and putting a stent. So that is called emergency or primary angioplasty. And with the advent of primary angioplasty, the mortality or the death rate of heart attack has reduced drastically. Now let us see where is this primary angioplasty done. Primary angioplasty, not all hospital is having the primary angioplasty facilities. There are hospitals where primary angioplasty is available. Uh, it requires a special laboratory called cath lab, uh, ca cardiac catheterization laboratory, so otherwise called the cath lab. So uh, whenever this patient is coming to the emergency department, it will be, the patient will be trans transported immediately to the cath lab and where experienced staffs and particular trained uh, staffs are available and experienced uh, uh, cardiologist or intervention cardiologists are available. So uh, there is a door to perfusion, door to balloon time and, and upon arrival of the patient to the emergency department, the primary angioplasty should be done within 90 minutes or one and a half hours. So we are having an alert system where upon arrival the, the entire team will be alert, alerted and the staffs and the doctors will come and the patient will be taken to the angioplasty or the cardiac cath lab and primary angioplasty will be done within 90 minutes. 
So that is a basic concept of primary angioplasty. And if the primary angioplasty facility is not available in a particular hospital, you can thrombolize or what I have told before, you can give this type of lytic drugs like streptokinase or tenecteplase and you have to give the drug within 30 minutes. And suppose if the patient is coming to a cash, uh, center where there is no primary angioplasty available and if the, you are able to transfer the patient to a hospital where the primary angioplasty is available within 120 minutes, then you should uh, do that to the patient, you should do justice to that patient so that we can save the patient on, or save his uh, myocardium. Otherwise, if you are not able to transport the patient within 20, 120 minutes, then you can thrombolize the patient, observe the patient there and later transport after, maybe after 3 hours or 3 hours to a center where primary, where angioplasty services are available and there you can do angioplasty for these patients after 3 hours of thrombolysis, within 3 to 24 hours of thrombolysis. That is a basic concept now. So, because with the advent of this primary angioplasty and with the efficient emergency team, the heart, uh, the mortality rate or the death rate of myocardial infarction or the heart attack is coming down. Thank you for watching me. I wish you a healthy life and a healthy heart. Mm -hmm.